Hey everyone, Gary Mila with Michigan Biomass. I'm going to talk about a forest management practice today that's largely misunderstood by a lot of people. It's clear cutting. Forests to remain healthy and regenerate need disturbance and disruption. It's how they work, it's how they function. And clear cutting in certain situations with certain species is one way to do that. So we're going to talk about clear cutting today and hopefully dispel some of the myths and concerns that a lot of people have about clear cut as a management tool for Michigan's forests. Just three months ago, this was an aspen stand behind me and it was clear cut in April. Today's August 3rd. You can see how quickly this species regenerates from a clear cutting operation. That's because the way that aspen regenerates is not from the seeds, but from suckers that grow up from the stumps and the roots. And if you look around this acreage, all you can see is the next generation of aspen. These trees wouldn't be here if it hadn't been clear cut first. So why was it clear cut? In many cases, the stand became old. It's unproductive in terms of producing new aspen trees. It's unproductive as a food source for wildlife and cover. And it certainly is unproductive in terms of wood fiber value. This is what that aspen stand is going to look like in about five years. These stems are about three inches in diameter and these saplings are about 15 feet tall. This is going to be excellent cover for grouse and woodcock and it's going to provide critical winter browse for deer and elk. This is what this aspen stand looked like before it was clear cut earlier this spring. This one here is about 55 years old and not in very good health. What you see in this stand is a lot of unhealthy trees, a lot of dark spots on the bark, dead limbs, a lot of limbs, fungus growing, and a lot of understory. This aspen stand was cut about 45 years ago. You can see that the bark is clear. The trunks are very tall and pole-like with few limbs. Now this forest is gonna provide excellent cover for wildlife and be a source of wood fiber for forest products manufacturing in the future. Clear cutting isn't right for every species in every stand. I used aspen in this illustration because it regenerates so fast that you can see the benefit in short order. Jack pine and oak can benefit from clear cutting as well. Forest management is a disruptive process, not unlike the way you would prune your trees or trim your shrubs at home, but on a landscape scale, it involves the harvest and removal of whole trees. And it's the forest products industry that provides the economics that drives that management, that treatment to the benefit of wildlife, campers, hikers, and all our forest users. And biomass power production is part of that forest products industry, again, providing economic support for a healthy, productive, long-lived forest. So it's not about the power that biomass produces, it's about how we produce that power, contributing to the regeneration of our forest resources and keeping them healthy that makes us different.